Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to fix this error, which appears when starting a game or another application in Windows 10 operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Many people have chosen Windows 10 operating system. It is especially valid for its simple and easy-to-use interface, but there is no system without errors or failures. And in order to fix one, you need to understand why they happen. If one day you see this error on the screen of your computer, let's try and find out how to fix it and get your computer working properly again. As you know, errors usually come out of the blue when you least expect them. For example, when you just start a game or another application. In this case, an error may suggest that this program is trying to use damaged or incompatible system files. Quite often, people encounter this trouble with game files or files used by various media players. On the other hand, errors may result from both from software failures and hardware issues. For example, if libraries, drivers, system files or elements get damaged and a game application cannot start properly. If there is a virus interfering with your computer's performance. Or if the programs you have installed are incompatible with the current version of your operating system. Or your computer may be missing a proper graphics driver. Any of these things can result in an error. So, how can you fix this error? First of all, try updating DirectX and framework components. You can watch another video on our channel to see how to check the DirectX version that your computer is running. Find all the links below. You can find the latest versions on the Internet easily. These two components have to be updated so the application you are trying to start can work in the environment compatible with its version. Looking at the error signature, it seems likely the program cannot work properly with the outdated components. Sometimes the initialization error appears because a certain Windows update is missing. Try installing all updates which are queued by your operating system and waiting for your confirmation to be installed. It is especially relevant for recommended updates. Another option is to reinstall the game or application which causes such kind of error. Some files might have been unpacked in the wrong way when you installed the application for the first time. One more thing to do is to always start applications as administrator. The step that we can't possibly miss is to check your computer for viruses. Any modern antivirus will do. Visit our channel to watch several good videos about detecting and removing any viruses on a computer. All the links are in the description. After cleaning the system from viruses, you need to boot the computer in safe mode, open command prompt and type the command SFC scan now. It will replace the damaged files with new ones. If this method doesn't help, try starting the game or application in a compatibility mode. To do that, right-click on the file of the program with the .exe extension. Select Properties and in the window that appears, find the tab Compatibility. Find the previous version of the operating system in which the program worked properly. After that, try starting the application again to see if this trick worked. You can also try cleaning a folder with the name temp, which you can find by following this path. See Users, Username, App Data, Local, Temp. Just open it and remove all the files inside. By default, the folder App Data is hidden. To have hidden items displayed, check the corresponding box. If you haven't managed to fix the error yet, try reinstalling the graphics driver and cleaning the cache. Watch one of our videos to see how to download and install a graphics driver. Find the link in the description as usual. Delete all temporary files from your computer. You can do it with a special app, CCleaner. 
After that, restart the computer one more time to see if the error is fixed. If this error appears when you update iTunes Media Player, it is quite difficult to find out what exactly causes the problem. You can start by changing the time zone. You can find it in time and date settings. Leave the digits as they are, but try changing the cities. Sometimes this problem appears when an application is trying to update. If that is the case, download the latest version of this program and reinstall it. Before you start the installation, make sure the service Apple Mobile Device Service is running. For this purpose, you need to set the Startup Type option to Automatic. In the Properties window, find the Line Service status and click Start. You should also check if you have the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. System image recovery and upgrading your operating system could be the other way out. If all the previous methods didn't help, the last option is to reset the operating system. Use the standard tool for system recovery. Try rolling the system back to the date when you did not see any errors. If you don't have a restore point, update the operating system image without damage for your personal files. You can restore integrity of damaged Windows system files by updating the operating system with Media Creation Tool. You can download it from the Microsoft official website. Start Media Creation Tool. Accept the license terms. Open it and choose Upgrade this PC now. It will download necessary files and get the computer ready for upgrading. After that, click on the Install button. Wait until the process is over. When it is complete, you will get a brand new Windows 10 with all updates installed. I hope that the methods I have shown today will help you fix this error and forget about it for good. If it ever appears again, you will know what to do. And that is all for now. I hope you find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!